What's up everybody, Chris from Full Steam Designs and today I'm going to show you how to use free images to create 3D reliefs in Carbide Create. Alright, we're going to start this demo out in Google Images and I'm just going to search for 3D grayscale image. And there's a lot of different things that you can search for here. There's a bunch of automatic pop-ups here. Um, you can click on any of those, <clears throat> or you can search for you know a specific image, but let's just see what comes up under this. All right, so we've got a bunch of different options that pop up, and we can just click on any of these. Uh, let's try this one here, and we'll go ahead and save this image. Now we need to make sure that we're saving it as a PNG. Uh, this one here is a, a already a PNG, so we don't need to worry about it. If it wasn't, we could bring it into a, a program like Convertio, which is actually a free online program. I'll put a link down in the description to that, and you would just be able to convert it to a PNG there. All right, now let's go ahead and open Carbide Create. And of course, we're in Pro. We need to be in Pro for this. And if you haven't already claimed your free trial, right now they got a, a free year trial going on. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for a video that'll just walk you through on how to do that and it'll have all the links for you. So let's go over to the model tab. And what we're gonna do is import a component. And we're gonna import that image that we just saved. All right, and it came in a little bit bigger than our actual work pieces. So we can go ahead and adjust the scale. Let's try one. And try 0.8. All right, that's pretty good. That fits in our window. So let's check out the 3D model here. And you can see it's really looks distorted and that's because it's too high. So what Carbide Create is doing is it's interpreting these different shades of grays as different heights. And so what we can do is come over here to height and lower that. Let's try 0.25. And you always wanna click apply. And it's not too bad, still a little distorted. Let's try like 0.1 and see how that looks. Might be too low. Yeah, that's a little better, but we lose a little bit of detail there. So we'll try like 0.15. All right, yeah, that looks pretty good. So now all we need to do is click done and that'll be saved in there as that component. And if you would like, you could add like a background or maybe a border or something around this. And I have another video on a wavy flag that kind of goes into more detail on how to do stuff like that. So I'll put a link in the description to that. But that's about it for this tutorial. I just wanted to show you how quick and easy this is. And I will see you over on this next video.